Good morning, it's 7.40. Still breaking down camp. Get all our stuff there. Got it. Everything is damp. Everything that we hung up last night just got wetter. So now we know not to do that because it doesn't work. Uh, we're just, we're hiking eight and a half miles today uh, to Unicoi Gap. And then we're going to get picked up and stay in Helen, Georgia. I guess it's a German town, so that'll be interesting. Um, we're going to stay there tonight, and then the plan is to still hike tomorrow. So it's supposed to storm in the morning, so we might get a later, a little bit of a later start. But we'll see. Um, when I got the bear bags this morning, there was like a little bird with like a long beak laying down on the ground. It was alive because its eye was open looking at me, but it wasn't moving. It was probably too cold to move. But that was cool. That was cute. Um, I'm wearing my sleep clothes hiking today uh, because even if they get wet or dirty, they're getting washed today. So I don't care. All right. I'll see you later. Such a beautiful morning. The birds are happy it's not raining. I'm happy it's not raining. Yesterday we were like thinking, oh man, we're never gonna get warm ever again. And now it's like sunny out, it's not that cold. And like, yeah, we were talking about yesterday, like we don't even remember the hike. All we were thinking about the whole entire time was, um just the hotel today and like uh, getting warm and what food we're gonna eat and what clothes we're gonna change into and laundry we're gonna do just because it was so cold and rainy that's all we could think about but today it's nice and lovely and then we have we're gonna get our shuttle round one or two. And then we'll have nice clean clothes and smell good. Or smell okay again. <laughs> you can tell this used to be a road a ways ago. Because it has these fixtures here and it's got a pipe running down there. Trails still roll wet from yesterday. Look at that. If I can show you that pipe thing, get over there. fog rolling in. It's almost to us. It's a little bit on the trail behind us. I don't think you can tell yet. 
we can like watch it move closer and closer to us. It's like the movie The Mist. Just a little bit over there. Getting closer. I think we're in it now. Kind of jungly looking here. Look at this tree that was once on the trail. And now that's the trail. It's pretty neat. Very fitting that it's so green here on St. Patrick's Day. Can you hear the water? Lunch of champions right here. Cheers. <laughs> We're heading down to Unicoi Gap right now. It's like over a thousand feet of just ascent. So we're trying to be careful, save our little knees. And then we're getting picked up by a shuttle. And then we're going to Sure Stay Hotel, where we can wash all our clothes. See you at the bottom. Made it. Now we just gotta wait 20 minutes to get picked up. Start it in again. Sprinkle wiggling. Hikers have moved in. Pretty decent rooms. Laminate flooring, good for the hiker. Desk to our studious work. Mirror, bathroom, somebody's already, someone is already using it. Mm -hmm. Situation. Oh, and the best part is balcony to hang up your tent and tarp. Yeah, yeah. So you saw the before. Let me show you the after. Got our sleeping bags there. The laundry that we need to do there. All our stuff laid out. Sleeping pads. Food. Other thingamabobs. Got our puffies. More things, all the things. And then we're in our laundry suits. Mm. Okay, gonna do laundry, bye. And Helen, and it's a German town. This is a cute little laundry mat. You can see all the buildings are German-esque. Laundry done. Now I'm cleaning out our tent. This is the footprint. Gross. Ooh, and it's still so dirty. Ooh. Laundry's all did. We're all showered. Our tent's all cleaned. It's drying. In the hotel room as we speak. It's even more of a hot mess than the last time I showed you. Now we're going to get some food because we are starving. But turns out you just Cheers. Our eyes. We're definitely bigger than our stomachs. Although Justin is getting another beer. 
Okay, we're back in the hotel room. We ate at Big Daddy's. Um, it's where our shuttle driver, Grace, she was really nice, um, told us to go. It was really good. It wasn't the cheapest. We felt we were, um, I think they call it platinum blazing. Uh, it's when you just like spend as much money as you want uh, through hiking. So we felt like that because it wasn't that cheap. But it was good. It wasn't like super expensive. It wasn't like super pricey or whatever. But um, I don't think I told you, but we did decide to take a zero. The weather's supposed to be really bad tonight and in the more half the day tomorrow. Um, so we're going to take a zero here. Mainly because when we started doing laundry, cleaning all our stuff. And then we would only have time to eat and then go to bed. So, like, it felt like we were just rushing to get everything done. And it didn't feel relaxing or anything. Which I guess not all the time do you need that when you go into town. But since this was our first experience with it, we weren't, like, that fast at it. So I think in the future we'll be better equipped to just do a one night instead of having to do a zero. But this way we have, we still have to get food tomorrow to resupply and do other things. So we won't feel so rushed. Okay, well, it's definitely bedtime. So good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. We've been up for a while. We got a little grab and go breakfast from the hotel. I just had a muffin and coffee. We are going to go get real back breakfast at this bakery place down the street but my blisters do look a lot better today so I think this zero day is gonna really help them out all right I'll see you at breakfast bye this is what their Helen's gas stations look like so cute Look at that river roaring from the storm this morning slash last night. Breakfast. Look at the little village tavern. Some homes right there. So cute. This is their grocery store. Can I shop here a little bit while we wait for our names to be called for breakfast? Damage. I'm gonna take that back with us. This is our haul from the country store. Look how big this cookie is. Peanut butter. And then some fruits and veggies. Gonna make us a little bit healthier. This obviously for my boy stores. After breakfast, it started pouring, but now it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Good day for hiking, even though we aren't hiking. Oops. So 
this is everything that I got for a resupply at Dollar General. It was only 21 bucks, which is pretty good. Hoping this will last me five nights um, with some of the other food that I still have left over. So this is what $21 of Dollar General food looks like. And then I'll show you in a second, unpackage everything with what I have from other stuff. All right, this is what five diets and five food looks like right now. So over here, breakfast. Over here, snacks. And over here too. And then lunches, tuna with crackers. And then for dinners, I'm gonna make ramen bombs. And then these pasta sides. And then those chips can like add flavor to something else. And then these, um, I have five left and Justin still has this salami and cheese that we eat for one dinner. And then this should last us to Franklin. Oh, and hot tip, these nut are butter bars. Way less than a Snickers and they're more calories than a Snickers. If you're interested in that. In case you guys were interested, this is what the same thing looks like for Justin. He's a little bit more organized, so cute. One thing I realized I don't need anymore are ear plugs. They don't really work that well, and I don't like them in my ear, so save maybe a quarter of an ounce. Bye! Another thing I'm going to get rid of is this end of the z packs toothbrush does not work, so there's another quarter of an ounce save. My rain pants were also too long, so I had to cut off the bottoms. So that's another quarter of an ounce. Man, the pack is just getting lighter and lighter. Stopped at the gas station to get a drink and some hand warmers because it's going to get into the low 30s the next couple of nights. And then we got dinner at a slice of Helen. Cute. Sorry, I forgot to sign off for the night. But we didn't do much, that much today. I did a couple of videos to upload and now we're going to bed and giving a shuttle at 8.30 in the morning. Go back on trip. Good night.